Listen, no one wants to work for you. No one wants to be you. No one wants to behave like you. No one's looking up to the way that you're treating your wife. No one's looking up to the way that you're taking care of your kids. No one's looking up to you. You can't make a decision. You're pleasing the wrong people. I don't want to be you. I'm out. This is the secret. Every single one of you, when you change, when you change and you go to become your best self, there's going to be conflict. Does that make sense? There's going to be conflict. Look, no one's going to believe in you when, you when you start to change until you give everybody evidence in the world that who you're becoming is really going to be that person. Like, in the, in the midst, when you first start to change, people start to laugh at you. They start to joke. So I put this, don't chase, don't chase the dollar, chase the man. This is a big deal for me. Remember, the world, who you become... The world's a mirror, it'll give you back who you become. How much do you care about your, your team? How much do you care about your family? How much do you care about your kids? How much do you care about yourself? Do you do what you say you're gonna do? Look, remember this, in leadership, you can't be double-minded, you can't have double standards. You can't tell someone to do something you're not doing. Do you want your team to make good decisions and work hard and give all they got? Are you making decisions, you work, good decisions, are you working hard and you're giving all you got? Can I ask you a question, on your team, the way that you operate with your family. Hey, in the world, if you're a salesperson, you are, I'm, I'm 18 years old right now. Okay, well, when you get with someone one day, remember, you're made for communion. You're gonna do life with somebody at some point, right? Don't you wanna know in advance, if you wanna find somebody who's a badass, who you need to become? Yeah? Dude, I see relationships break more, more than, than just the family. They break everything. Your kids aren't resilient. You go through a divorce or screwed. The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. So if you're here today, if you can unscrew yourself, you can unscrew anyone else. The key to sales is you must understand people. There's people knowledge and product knowledge, right? Okay, who in here wants to lead a team one day or leads a team now? Raise your hand. Okay, every one of you in here, I call this a sales boss. A sales boss creates the rhythm in a company. You can't get a rhythm in a company going if you don't understand people. Dude, listen to me. If you're that jackass that's walking around and you can't tell when someone's hurting or you don't care about people, dude, they're not going to stay with you. They're gone. I have everybody in every industry ask me, how do I build a team like yours? I just can't find the right people. You're not the right person. You're not the right leader. Listen, no one wants to work for you. No one wants to be you. No one wants to behave like you. No one's looking up to the way that you're treating your wife. No one's looking up to the way that you're taking care of your kids. No one's looking up to you. You can't make a decision. You're pleasing the wrong people. I don't want to be you. I'm out. Super important, guys. If you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. That's the world, very clear. So, don't chase the dollar, chase the man. Become who you're supposed to become. I was one dimensional. I thought making money was the thing that I needed to do. When I first got into self-development, I just needed to make more money. And Jackie goes, you're one dimensional. It means that you only believe you can have one thing. You don't think you can have it all. There was always an excuse why I couldn't get that one thing. Some of you in here right now, you're just like me. You're sitting here and you're like, hey dude, I got four out of the five things that I want. Why don't you have all five? You're like, no, I will. No, 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 if you wanted it, you would have it. See, this is a simple thing. If you wanted it, you would have it. See, you don't want it. You don't want to be a badass dad. You don't want to. You say you do, you're full of shit. Because if you wanted it, you would become it. The sad thing is, is that someone else is going to scoop in and they're going to be your son's hero and you missed out. Man, that. I'm out. Someone else, who motivates your wife? If anybody in here is in a relationship, husband or wife, does, should the wife motivate the husband? Yes. Should the husband motivate the wife? Yes. Should they be a superpower together? Yes. No one is that way. No one is that way. When do you go home and say, damn, babe, 
Dude, I kept so excited to grow our marriage. I'm so, man, I, I just, it's eating me alive. I want to take our marriage to the next level. When I say shit like that, humans don't understand that. You're like, no, but we need to make more money. No, dude, when you guys get closer, you make more money. When you guys leave here, just remember this. Either you own this shit and you can't be talked out of it, or you're not gonna make it. You have to own this in here. And if you haven't been living this way, just like Steve said for 36 years, he's lived this way, and the last five or six, he's lived this way, Dude, at 39, I don't know how old you are, but 39 years old, I made a decision to change my life. So I don't care how old you are, at 39, okay? Dude, when you literally start believing differently, doing different things, your face will change, your eyes change, your body changes, your voice changes, everything changes. It's literally as if almost two years, God will create you to be a different person human you don't even look the same that's what i'm after total and absolute recreation so success trap when you're really good at a lot of things but you're not good at one i want everybody to do me a favor i want you to write this down what industry are you in and write down what does the top one percent in your industry earn i want the top one percent what do they earn okay just write it down Okay, now take that top 1% and then I want you to write down what you earn next to it. The difference between what you earn and what the top 1% in your industry in is the money you're leaving on the table. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Are they better than you? What's the problem? You're not who you need to be. I'm not even joking. Listen, I chose one thing. I chose one thing and I became the world's best. That's all I'm doing. I may not be the world's best, I think I am. I'm growing so fast because I chose one thing. I take one vertical and I own it. I take one thing I'm gonna do and I own it. Some of you, you got two or three things going on and you're good at three things. I'm really good at one. That is a success trap. If you wanna retire, if you wanna become rich, if you wanna have choices, if you wanna be the best, pick one thing and destroy it become listen one thing become 10 times better than anyone else in your industry train your team better train yourself better stop bullshitting around look create it create a top 50 hit list top 50 people ahead of you top 50 companies top 10 people just like Michael Jordan created a hit list took them each one of them out one by one that's what we did. We've been taking training companies out one by one. Now I'm building other coaches underneath me that are opening up in all these other industries and I wanna make them 10 times better than me. But anybody that I, when I got in, they already existed, I'm just after taking them out other than PBD. Everybody else, I've been taking them out. No, I mean it, like I'm, I, I'm well I already told like Patrick and David, I said, I'm gonna build an army with you. I'm gonna build an alliance army, it's gonna be a gang. I want a gang of, you know, a million people. I want that. I want, I want my people to be with him and I want his people to be with me and we're not the same businesses. I believe what he believes and if, you were to, if he was here, he'd tell you the same standards. I love that shit. I love it, okay? So, find the number one thing you should be doing. All right, it's not about the big that eat the small, it's about the fast that eat the slow. This is super important. I don't give a shit who you are in here. I am an underdog and for a living, I bankrupt Goliaths. I take Goliaths out daily. We have taken out so many Goliaths in our, in our industry with underdogs and people who weren't coaches. Guys, just so everybody's aware, if you're like, I need to find cabinet salespeople, I need to find roofing salespeople, bull you need to find good people and then train them how to do that job. That's your goal. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Me and Jackie, we hire from the heart. We don't hire from talent. 
people are always like I find the best in Tyler and now listen I get it if it's marketing probably a good idea to go find a good marketer hey what have you built how did you build it make sense uh, okay you're gonna work for me I got that but when it comes to building teams if what you do is teachable dude like hire people that train fast okay can I coach you hard will you grow quick will you self-develop every day so if you're in a sales game in here I'm gonna explain how you hire someone and how you go back to your company and you set the rules and the standards I would say there's three things that we do on the sales floor there's only three either we're selling something looking for something to sell or training to get better that's all we do we don't do anything else we don't do anything else we're selling something someone's in front of your face we're selling it looking for something to sell what's that mean Andy we're making the dials we're not watching social media we're posting on social media to get a to get a to get a client we're making the dials there's got to be a non-negotiable if you're a leader in here without metrics and data you're using a gut instinct you'll never see if your people are, are getting better or not so if you if, so we have data every day on all of our people so if I say I'm giving an example you're gonna make 200 dials today or make X amount of transactions which is sales or X amount of revenue it's this or this so every day the sales rep comes in he knows that he needs to sell X amount in money or X amount of these products or make X amount of knocks or X amount of calls it's, it's this or that there's no like hey how'd your day go ah this is a tough one man so which one did you get did you get the 25 grand in revenue today or did you get the 200 dials it's very, I didn't I only did a thousand in revenue oh so you got your 200 dials in yep I got my 200 dials everybody understand this please the leader must be obsessed the more, by the way an obsessed leader should never have someone that works for the leader and complain about the leader being obsessed that should be something that's done at the hiring at the hiring do you do you want to try to convince people to come work for you or to scare them off that they can't we use a scare method listen we love you you're you seem like a great guy but I'm gonna be honest with you there's a good chance that when you come here you're gonna get your ass kicked I'm being totally honest I'm not gonna talk to you to come and work here you're going to get your ass kicked why because what we do it matters and it's hard and it takes time to learn if you're looking for an easy job look, we're, look when you come work here your family you're in our inner circle we're gonna make you a better person we're gonna raise your standards you're gonna have a great life but you ain't gonna be the best here now I want you to be but the facts are probably six months you're gonna get your teeth kicked in are you willing to go six months to get your teeth kicked in when you're getting your teeth kicked in is your wife okay with that is she gonna support you through, through through six months of getting your teeth kicked in by the way important when I interview or Jackie does the wife is in the interview we never interview anyone without the wife ever or the woman we have her, her man with them why because that person has to support them they need to hear everything that's and by the way they need to hear everything that they're held to their standard or responsibility they need to hear that so they can support them that's it hey listen if your husband comes here and for six months he doesn't make any money does he got to quit and go get another job or are you going to support him to push through until he becomes good at this no I'll stay with him I'll support him that's important to hear that isn't it dude nobody asks these questions you know why because we just want to tell people hey if you come to work here you get paid X amount of percentage when you come to work here this is what we do this is the way we live it's almost like it's not begging you to come here no I want to scare you off this job is hard as hell but guess what it pays very well when you're the best loyalty is what we want oh yeah by the way if you're looking for a job we don't hire people that want jobs we hire people that we do life with when you come here you're gonna die with us what does that mean that means this if you have any hopes inside of you of going and opening your own business and doing this down the road and doing this don't come here I'm not gonna invest everything that I have into you for the next five years for you to go do something else I'm looking for people that want to build this thing with us okay it's called an entrepreneur 
okay I'm gonna take the risk I'll take the lawsuits I'll take the shit I'll pay you the good money you protect me I protect you we go to war together you get it yeah, yeah that's what we're doing you, you got to be as clear as you can I have so many people that go man this guy left for money if you train your people I've never had a person quit on me to go work somewhere else for more money if you train listen let me explain why if you train your people off money don't be surprised when someone recruits them because of more money come work for me I'm the best I pay the most nobody pays more than me I just recruited him and I explained the only reason why you should come work for me is because of money how about this you have two companies you could go work for I've got the husband and the wife hypothetically here and I'm like look you got two companies you go work for obviously he's coming to work for me but I want to ask you because it's important to both of me if he can come work here and I made him a better man and he was a better husband to you and he was a better father and he had a better attitude and when he was at home he really kicked ass at home and when he was at work he kicked ass at work it took a little longer for him to get up to speed to really make more money okay that was us I made him a better man or this job over here they don't give a shit about you you're not even in the meeting because they don't care they don't want to know your name he's gonna produce he's a producer we'll pay him X amount I'm not interested in making him a better man a better father a better husband any of that that doesn't matter but I'm gonna pay him more which one would you rather him be that's right super important guys if you're watching this video right now and you're like Andy I'm not built like that bullshit yes you are Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. She says, no, I don't want him to make more money. I want him to become a better man. I want, I want to, I want you to push him. And then I say, is it okay? And I'm gonna before I ask him for me to positively peer pressure your husband when he's at work every day to become a better man. Absolutely. Okay, cool. And I say, when he goes home at night, can you help me positively peer pressure him to become a better man? Which means you're gonna raise your standards too, and you're gonna also help him raise your standards. Boom, I got her committing to me. He's committing to me. Guess what? One day some guy walks up to him and goes, dude, I'll pay you a million dollars a month. Come work for me. He goes home. He's like, babe, I got a job offer. This guy's going to pay. She's like, you're going to leave Andy? You're an idiot. Not a chance. There's no way in hell we're ever going to leave the Elliott group. No, listen to me. You guys want to know how to build the team in the army? Yeah, but this is why you got to become but watch this is why you got to become money has nothing to do with anything I chased money my whole life it all fell through my fingers anybody ever anybody know what I'm talking about yes. yeah yes, anybody sitting here right now and you if you take your shirt off of yourself but naked in the mirror you're like this ain't me no no but this ain't me this ain't me this ain't me I don't recognize me I don't see me that ain't me I'm not gonna look anymore because that's not who I am okay cool that's why who you do life with in your company is the most important thing ever that, guys that's what I'm trying to do is build leaders and by the way I need you to understand this when you're a salesperson and you're a company you may say Andy but all the stuff you're saying is I don't listen you're not working for the job you want you're working for the job you're after aren't you after the top leadership job don't you want to run the company and let me say another thing if you're a sales guy in here man promotion is a demotion it truly is you got to decide in here to be one of two people number one the best salesman on planet earth listen if, if you're a badass salesperson but you can't teach someone else how to sell you can't be the leader you can't be the leader watch I'm a badass closer so if you have the phone and you're like hey I can't close this guy okay if I go well, just give me the phone give me the phone and then I take it and I close it and you're like oh my god that was amazing but I can't train him how to do it I can't be in charge you get it I got to stay in sales forever I can never be in charge and some of you in here you take your top sales guy and you promote him to be the manager because he's the best but he can't teach anyone else how to do it and then you try to bring him back down because no one else is getting good and you removed your top producer from the floor and now he quits and goes somewhere else because he got demoted he's embarrassed how many top guys you're gonna run off I'm gonna explain this a sales boss identifies this person is not the best 
The managers, the leaders, the sales bosses were never the best. They could hang with the best, but they weren't the best. Top sales guys, you can't control them. They're just all over the place. They're crazy, but they can't teach what they know in most cases. They're just really good, man. No one needs to tell them to go to work. No one needs to tell them to pick up the state. No one needs, but these guys, we need to let them have their life. We need to let them build what they want. We need to let them make as much money as they can. But the sales bosses, which is what I'm gonna talk to you about right now, how to build these guys, these are the guys that aren't the best. But they are respectable. Like your numbers, I can respect them. Doesn't have to be the best, but your numbers, I can respect them. But I can put you in charge of 30 people and you can go to those 30 people and you can train them how to do what you did and make them better than you. That's a sales boss. Also, a sales boss, a sales leader, is a person that fuels the rhythm in the company. If you come here to our company any day, any, any time, there's music going, screens on, the place is humming. Dude, if I walk in, a sales boss, the leader, walks into the company, he's like, whoa, why is that TV not on? Why is the music not on? What's going on? Where's everybody at? Why is this feel off? Where's the energy? What's up with the rhythm? Like, you smell that shit and you correct it all so it's a hero making machine. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Dude, if you wanna get rich, this is how you do it. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true .0001 percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.